Hey guys, what up with it? It is the Sneaker Project coming back at you with another vid. Reason I have not made any content is because there's been no content, to be completely honest with you. I haven't picked up anything. I've had the money in pocket, just been waiting, you know, really been waiting. Um, definitely more content to come, so I thought I would come at you guys with my sneaker collection. And this is over about two months. And when I say it's over two months, I don't, these shoes I've accumulated over probably the last year, but I've seriously started collecting, getting seriously into it over the past two months. Now, in the past two months, I picked up three pairs of kicks, actually four, four pairs of kicks, depending on what you consider kicks. So yeah, guys, let's get started with it. I'm going to start in the back. I don't know if you can see in the front, but that's the nicer stuff. So, just going to start right here, real basic with the Timberland, uh, these are the basic ones, the boots. These aren't the premium ones that everyone sees. Basically, the only difference is the uh, the um, outsole. It's kind of like a... Uh, it's it's a different color. I don't know if you've seen the premiums, but it's kind of like a... My brother has them, but they're kind of like a... Uh, a kind of like a yellowish sort of color, and these are more like a brown. So, it's basically the only difference. It's nice, like, the suede right there. It's really nice. All right. Now these are really old. I mean, you can tell just by the. Sorry about that. There's a uh, paint stains and uh, stuff all over them. These are the uh, Air Hirachi joints. Really like these. Uh, I don't even think these have a name, but these these are filthy. But uh, and if any of you're wondering, my size ranges from about a uh, 11 to 13, depending on the shoe. So these are uh, the next couple shoes are the workout shoes and basketball shoes. So yeah, there are those. I really like these, to be completely honest. They're incredibly comfortable, if any of you are considering picking them up. And when, they, they, when they're new, obviously these are not new by the holes, but uh, they look really nice in hand and on feet. Now these are classics. These are the free runs. 5.0s, I want to say. Let me see what these joints say. 5.0s, yep. Just uh, I, I just call these bread since they're black and red. Just the original black and red colorway. These are a 12 these are relatively new. Um, I work out in these almost every day. Really nice shoes. Uh, everyone basically has a pair of free runs if you don't love them. And I suggest getting a pair of any free run to be honest. But if you're going to get a free run that you run a size or two big, just letting you know. Now these are second newest or the third newest pair of shoes I own. These are the free run 5.0s, but these are the newer versions. These are actually size 13. These are really big. It's kind of like a it's a salmon sort of color. I don't know if it could really, I don't know if it really shows up on camera too well. That right there is the color of this. It's really reflective and light. It's like that salmon color and a royal blue sort of combination on the black. Really nice. These have not been worn too often at all. I just work out in them. Haven't been running anything. Haven't not been running in these yet since it's still really bad outside the weather. Now these joints are really old right here. These, the next two shoes are my two hooping shoes. These are the Rose 2.0s. Very old and uh, the inside, the insoles, if you can see, is actually the uh, map for the L in Chicago, which is, when I say L, I mean the letter L, not like E-L or whatever, or however other way you want to spell it. This is the, uh, the Amtrak train system in uh, Chicago so that's actually the map of it which is pretty unique and the other install this one's really worn so you can't really see but it's not it's not a map but these are I'd say they're fairly good condition for being I'd say th probably three four years old not bad condition definitely it's a hoop condition uh this one of these shoes is kind of torn right there these are probably the smallest pairs of shoes I actually own yeah definitely these are a 10 but they fit they fit kind of snug but I can still hoop in them um Adidas run basically true to size if any of you are wondering how any Adidas fit basically true to fi true to size on almost every pair these are actually the uh these are Nike ID these are my other hooping pairs these are the KD6 these are Nike IDs uh I didn't design these, actually, someone else did, and I traded for them cash and another item a very long time ago. These are still, they still look basically brand new. 
bottoms aren't exactly the newest, but the grip is still there. Um, basically, brand new looking. Keep good care of these. Clean them numerous times. Um, I don't even have a name for these. I was trying to think of one, to be honest, but I don't. These are 11 and a half off of Nike ID. I don't know if I said the size, but... Now to my two pair of J's, and for all you guys watching the video, you know, trying to troll, say, man, you have no heat, your collection is ass, it's weak. Like I said, I just got into the shoe game, and unlike other people, I don't have a, a full-time job right now. I'm working on getting one, actually. I might have one. But when it comes summertime, I'll have a lot of extra spending money, so definitely look out. Looking to pick up the Hornet 10s or Flu Game 12s upcoming. So these are... Uh, these are here, actually, my favorite pair of shoes I own. These are the Powder Blue 3s. You don't really see these too often. They're not rare at all, not limited by any means. Definitely a GR, obviously, but uh, they, I don't really see people with them, to be completely honest. And maybe some of you do, but I'm up in uh, Michigan. I don't know if any of you knew, but Michigan people, I have, to be completely honest, I don't think I've ever seen these on anyone's foot in Michigan, but they are not really rare. I got them... Not brand new, but they were VNDS, got them for in between the 140 and 160 range. Pretty good deal for these kicks. I've worn them maybe six times, so they're still relatively new. No really, no real creases on them. Um, really no creases, nothing to really point out. These are an 11. And another thing about Jordans too, Jordans also fit relatively uh, fair to size, meaning that Sorry about that, guys. The camera actually just died, so I'm just going to finish up the video. So the uh, Powder Blue 3 is uh, just finishing up what I was saying there was um, that they fit relatively true to size. Most Jordans do, to be completely honest. Maybe a half size up on them or a half size down, but they're relatively true to size. Anyways, I don't know what got cut off, but those are basically VNDS. I got them when they were only worn once. I don't even know if they were worn, to be completely honest. You could not tell, and I've probably only worn them six or seven times, so. Now, these you saw the review. I can't say they're DS because I wore them for about an hour, and for an hour where they kind of did get a little dirty because I did wear them at a party, and I stepped on some cake, but those are uh, the outsole, so you don't really have to worry about that at all. And then the side right here is kind of a little marked, but those, it's a really easy clean. So these are my newest pair. Like I said, I wore them for about an hour. Haven't worn them at all besides that. So yeah, guys, that's basically my sneaker collection. And if any of you are sitting here trolling, you know, you don't have any heat. I think I already explained that in the video, but I just seriously got into collecting recently. So hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll definitely hit you guys back. Hoping to get this channel big, hoping to show you guys some more pickups in the near future. Peace out, man.